Google Cloud Armor and want a better understanding of the functionalities available? Are you using load balancing and want to block unwanted traffic as close to the edge as possible before it reaches your backend workloads and services? Stick around as we introduce this Go Deep with Cloud Armor series and how it can help you protect your network. Google Cloud Armor helps you protect your Google Cloud deployments from multiple types of threats. It provides a cloud service for advanced protection of web applications, services, and APIs against distributed denial of service, DDoS attacks, layer seven application attacks like cross-site scripting, SQL injection, and fraud from bots at planet scale for hybrid multi-cloud architectures. Enterprises are now able to protect their Google Cloud workloads across a wide variety of native services and workloads running on-prem and in other clouds. For on-prem workloads, this can be done through VPN or Direct Connect, and workloads on another cloud service provider can be covered via their public IP addresses. CloudArmor has been able to protect for some of the largest attacks ever experienced at L7, which you can learn more details about in the blog post linked in the description. Cloud Armor is configured as security policies. There are a couple different types of security policies depending on which resources you're looking to protect. Backend security policy, which is associated with an HTTPS load balanced or TCP slash SSL proxy load balanced backend service and edge security policy associated with cloud CDN enabled backend buckets or with media CDN enabled edge cache service. Within each of these policies, you can define and prioritize many rules. Cloud Armor rules can be as simple as an IP address filtering expression, an advanced match condition with multiple sub expressions, or our pre-configured WAF expressions to help block attacks like the OWASP top 10. So now that we've covered the overview, let's review what the series will cover. In this series, we'll run through demonstrations of how Cloud Armor can help keep you safe. First, we'll cover configuration steps for rules and policies, monitoring and dashboarding, and infrastructure as code automation and SecOps workflow integrations. But before we can dive into the videos for specific topics, we need to cover the hypothetical architecture setup that we'll be using to base our demonstrations on. This is the architecture for the imaginary company we'll be protecting. It has three independent applications denoted here as App1, App2, and App3. The clients are shown connecting to these applications respectively. App1 and App2 happen to be running together on one load balancer and have different virtual IPs or VIPs and separate application backend services running. App3 was recently acquired and will continue running as an independent application. But since Cloud Armor is highly embedded into our global load balancing infrastructure, the policy can be applied at load balancing level and be associated with one or multiple backend services wherever those backend workloads may be instantiated in the world. I also want to point out that App2 is hosted in a hybrid cloud environment. As I mentioned before, Cloud Armor provides cloud based defense wherever your application is deployed, be it on premise, co location, Google Cloud, or any cloud provider. For this to function, we can set up a network endpoint group and point it at the application, which allows for easy integration of the services in this hybrid environment. Now that we have the setup for our Cloud Armor demonstrations, we can begin to show you the details. In our next video, we'll tackle configuring rules and policies. Make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you get notified each time we put a video out for this series. Let's go deep with Cloud Armor. Thanks for watching.